Another beautiful day out today. What's going on guys? How's it going? Mark Freeman 408. Welcome to the YouTube channel. I hope you, you subscribe. Ah, I can't even talk. Too early. <laughs> I hope you subscribed, hit notifications. We do about eight videos a week and seven videos a week in the winter. 365 days a year, so. Today I'm headed to the scrapyard and taking the Subaru back. Unfortunately, we couldn't get it going. I bought it, brought it, drove it on the trailer, brought it home, and then it just died on us. So, gonna take it back, get some cash, see what else we can find. Then Jay's gonna head over. We're gonna get into some shenanigans. And then I'm going riding tonight. That'll be a separate video, obviously. And uh, yeah, what else is going on? And then tomorrow, I'm gonna take the Maverick in in the morning and get all that stuff done to it. Still waiting for the wheels and tires, so those should be in sometime, hopefully this week, because we're heading up north uh, to Detour Village, Michigan next week, so I'll be up there for a week. If any of you guys live up there and wanna meet up, so hopefully the wheels and tires are here by then, because I'd like to get them on and uh, yeah, get things going. So I'm excited for the Maverick. She's gonna be a little faster, get that blow off valve on, a little more horsepower. And then uh, while I'm waiting for that to get done, I'm gonna head over to Gopher Dunes and do a little riding there. So let's take the old 2.5 TS back, old, old 99. She was a good car, but she didn't want to move too far. So let's carry on. Had to park down here last night. <clears throat> Throw her on the hill. Time to take the wheels off. Get rid of them. Later Subaru, thanks for your cat and that's about it. <laughs> she didn't go too far, that's for sure. I was hoping we'd get more out of it, but I guess not. Oh well, I got the tires at least. No more Subaru, got 270 for it and I got 60 for the cat, so I am up. Unfortunately, we couldn't jump it, so whatever. Anyways, we're getting a Windstar out of the deal. The old Ford, okay? I love minivans for some reason. They, I don't know, something about minivans. Carry the whole family in there. <laughs> Looking good. So I don't have to pay for this one. This is a scrapyard lens. So basically I just take it, jump it, destroy it, then bring it back and they, they throw it in the pile of shame over there. So it's, it's nice though. Everyone's like, oh, you could give that to someone. Well, technically it's not mine. Someone else brought it here and they're just gonna crush it and put it in that pile anyway. So I might as well take it make some videos with it you know entertain you guys at least and then and then they can crush it so let's get this thing loaded up and get her home back down the track with the minivan she's looking good this thing actually rips pretty good i just kind of you know back and forth in the park lot and got on the trailer but uh she's gonna haul so maybe we'll do a quick burnout with it and uh brian's just on his way down in the tractor i don't know if you can see him right there he is so yeah, we're gonna get the Malibu loaded up. I was hoping the Malibu was gonna last longer than eight minutes, but uh, we had that suggestion there to do a Rockford over a jump. And you know, when someone throws a suggestion in there, you gotta do it, you know, jump on it. So I went to those little two foot jumps over there and I tried it and unfortunately, I think it was a little too steep because when I came down, it just slammed down and ripped the front right tire off. So obviously uh, the car's still good, but the front right tire is ripped off the hub, so it will not be going very far. So I'm gonna take it to the scrapyard after this. Jay was supposed to be coming down, but I have no clue where he is. And then he's gotta do his oil out too. So I don't think he's gonna make it today. But uh, I was thinking if we do the Rockford again, we should do it on the landing of the double here because it's like more gradual landing. And I think when it comes over, maybe I'll actually be able to ride out of it, not destroy the car. So we jumped the BMW last night. He's still hanging out over there. Um, yeah, I don't wanna, I wanna jump the van, but you know, we'll probably wait a few minutes for that. So maybe I'll just rip around, do a quick burnout, and then I gotta take the Malibu back, and then I gotta run to Grand Bend, get my parachute, cause it has been too long since I've skydived. I think it's been two years now, so it's time to skydive. So let's get this van unloaded, get that thing loaded up, and uh, maybe do a quick hot lap. All right, here we go. Doesn't have much gas in her, so better not hold her wide open. Only 129 on it though. Nice. Let's get this Malibu on. She was a good car, but she 
It was good for about one and a half videos, and that's about it. It's all we needed out of her anyway. It's just a Chevy, so who cares? Oh yeah, glides right on there. I usually don't like putting them on backwards. Oh, that one was grinding. I usually don't like putting them on backwards because all the weight's obviously on the front. So, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Bring her on. Bring her on. Almost there. He's leaking some fluid, a little coolant, the tranny fluid. You too full. Yeah, she was just pissing fluid, so. As you can see, this tire is ripped off. She kind of sheared off down there, so. She took a she took a good beating, though. It's still pretty good condition. It's straight pipe, too, so. Brian, how are you? Good. Doing good? Yep. Should we take the old, uh, the old sport for a tour? You like this one? Hey. Sport mini. Did someone die in it? I don't know. Probably. It smells like cigarettes, so someone probably got cancer. <laughs> Let's uh, do a do a little reverse uh, donut over here, and then maybe a quick burnout right. for the fans. You got a lot of fans now, Brian. So yeah. You're pretty famous. Yeah. Everyone wants to be Brian. Don't hit my truck. <laughs> As he rolls it. <laughs> Bring her over here. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. She's out of scrap there. Seems like pretty pretty decent condition. You know, I'm I'm no mechanic though. I, I'll tell you something, but uh there's a 90% chance it's probably wrong, but I'll, I'll always tell you it's right. I'll always tell you it's right. Oh man, we have had some fun in the last few weeks here. The gas pump dropped out of that, training went out of that one, that one got jumped, and those two actually got both got jumped. This one still runs, so we're good with that. I just gotta take all those for the scrapyard now. It's so time consuming just taking cars back to the scrapyard, so. And if, it's, and if the scrapyard already owns them, I don't get paid, so. What's he doing here? They gonna have a little brain race? <laughs> Going through the mud. Oh, don't get stuck. <laughs> oh, Brian. What do you think was gonna happen? There he goes. <laughs> Don't blow the tranny. <laughs> God. Don't hit my truck. <laughs> As always, it's time for the traditional burnout. We like to do a burnout with every car we get. Dirt, half tire burnout. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, you can't see me. <laughs> and he blew the tire. Or something happened. What happened? No, no, no more. <laughs> We gotta save this thing. <laughs> Did you blow a tire? I think so. Why would they blow up a Michelin? Oh, well, you didn't blow a tire. No, oh, something blew. Transmission. It sounded. Transmission blew. Oh, did you blow the tranny? No, I think a piece of board went underneath. Oh, okay. I hope you didn't blow the tranny. I want to do uh, oh, oh. a. I want to jump this That's thing. Hot. I bet it's hot. Does she? Did uh, Does it move? Yeah. Can we make sure of that? We'll make sure. Because if good not, problem. we might as well just put it back on the trailer and take it back. We're pretty good at getting cars here and making them last all of 15 seconds and then you 
Uh, feels like such a waste sometimes. What do we got? Oh yeah, it's a Ford. Purrs like a kitten, boys. No more. <laughs> 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 oh, Brian, just trying to get me going. Throw her by, uh, throw her by the other ones. <laughs> Too much fun, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, if only one, if only everyone had a little compound, they could just destroy cars. Uh, I get so many comments like, "Oh, you need to give these cars to people," and it's like, "Well, you can, you guys can go out and buy them." I just. Half of them I get from the scrapyard and the other half I get off Kijiji for like 200 bucks. So, But most of them the trannies are gone or something's gone and they need, you know, two to $5,000 to fix. I wouldn't park it on the hill. We've had some bad luck with that. Sometimes you get them on the hill and then they, you park them and then you go to start them and they don't want to shift out of gear and come off the hill. So, Into what? Back into the Cadillac. The Cadillac looking one. <laughs> oh yeah, shrapnel everywhere down here. Yeah, I'm gonna park this thing, Mark. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Just park it, okay? Just park it over by the caddy there. Yeah, right around there is good. <laughs> you got a bumper in between, you got a bumper tire. <laughs> <laughs> awesome good job brian your that. fans are happy you're good you're set for another fifty thousand views <laughs> okay. right, good for another hundred thousand all right thanks but, brian if you need me again just give me a call yeah we'll just we're gonna take this back to scrap yard and Thank get on to some coffee. other things yeah no problem the weapon is all locked and loaded you know a little disappointed about that tire but i kind of figured that was gonna happen so Oh, well, at least we got a good video out of it. Jaybird's here. Hey, yo. Oh, what do we do now? Maybe we'll race the, uh, which I don't even know what to do. <laughs> Maybe we'll race the, uh, the Saturn around or the Ford? Couldn't really tell you. I wasn't, I didn't think it was gonna show up, so I was just gonna take this back to Scrapper. Right, I'll talk to him, see what he wants to do. Yeah, this is our selection of vehicles. She's getting low. Take your pick. I don't know. We we painted the front of the uh, caddy. It was funny because we we filled the potato gun full of pink paint. We did the caddy paint job, <clears throat> and then Damon and Dave from Daily Driven Exotics brought the Lambo over, and they wanted to drive through fire, and the whole inside of the potato gun uh, had paint in it. Oh. And so I figured if I put gas in it, then it was gonna come out. And I'm like, fuck. Like, I don't want the Lambo getting covered in paint. So I ended up shooting it like eight times before we did the fire thing. And well, nothing came out, so I'm happy. That's good. They didn't need a new wrap, no. but uh, yeah, the fuel pump dropped out of this one. The tranny's gone on this one. Obviously those two got jumped. So we got the van and the Saturn right now. So the Saturn is the last one I own. The Malibu's out of here. So the scrapyard owns all five of these. So the gmc yeah <laughs> it's almost time for a trade-in anyway right lease is up yeah lease is up get rid of it <laughs> <laughs> all right well let's uh let's jump in the minivan we'll just do a little tour and uh i would like to jump some today but we jumped the beamer last night so i kind of want to have a few running cars you know just in case we have a rainy day you know you never know when you're gonna get a rainy day or yeah. a penis spray painted on the side of your vehicle <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go for it yeah hey, a bit of mud there we go. Yeah, go through there. <laughs> whoop, burr bush. <laughs> right up on the whoop for the burr. <laughs> Thing's pretty smooth. I know, it, it hauls oh. too. Whew. Better suspension than my truck. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out once we hit a bigger bump. <laughs> beep beep. Yes, we're at that. Left. Don't hit the whoops. <laughs> <laughs> that would end our day real fast. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get the cat off the beamer. It's like way up underneath. What's <laughs> uh, in there? Oh yeah. Whoop, bump. <laughs> Just ripping around. Then 
can go to the left there. Left here, right here. Here? Nope. Right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we're good, we're good. Yeah. Maybe let's rip around and do another burnout with it. Yeah. Let's do a, I think we should do a reverse burnout now. We did a forward burnout, it's time for a reverse one. Reverse burnout. Yeah. Oh. Everyone loves a little variety in their day. Woo. She's yeah. bumpy. Yeah, this is where we lost the fuel pump on the caddy. Oh. That little bump right there, so. All right, burnout time. I wonder what would happen if we did a carpet burnout. All right, reverse burnout. See if we can get high enough up here. Bring her back. Bring her back. Got lots of room on this side. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, right there. You might want to put the windows up. Yeah, do a reverse one. Or try at least. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very slow. Oh, there he goes. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Come on, old girl, break loose. Yeah, go back up again. There you go. There we go. Oh, she doesn't want to, eh? All right, turn around, do a forward one. <laughs> oh man, the amount of burnouts we've done on this plywood. Hilarious. Right there. Is there an e brake? Let me in. Is there an e brake in this thing? Uh, oh, a stick one right here. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Ba back up like two feet. A little more, a little more. Right there. Crack that e brake. Let her spin. Just peel it out of there. <laughs> oh man, who doesn't love burnouts? <laughs> now that was some white, white smoke. That was way better than Brian's burnout. I think Brian's was half uh, half dirt. <laughs> Amazing. You want to try the tires? <laughs> Put your window down. You want to try the tires? Oh my gosh. A little smoky in there? Oh. <coughs> Open the doors. Oh my god. <laughs> Turn the vents on. Here, let's let her air out for a minute. All right, round two on the tires. The teeter tire teeter tire totter. So yesterday we dug them down, but now I think they're a little too low and it doesn't really pivot anymore. You more just land on that side. So I think later this week, I'm gonna dig them up again, put them level with the ground, then just put a lot more dirt on the sides. It just needs a better run up to it. You're always good doing forwards. Hold on tight. <laughs> That's crazy. You should probably do it in reverse, eh? That's yeah, a lot better. <laughs> it's a little too low right now to do it in forwards, so I think you would just come slam down on your face, right? So we'll just do it in reverse right now. Give her a whirl. Let's see what she's got. <laughs> there you go way faster. <laughs> Here's the bumper. Way faster. You gotta go way faster.
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. There goes the muffler. <laughs> the bumper. <laughs> oh my god, the whole rear end just fell apart. <laughs> that is hilarious. The whole thing just fell apart. Well, that's a Ford for you. Uh, I think we've we've lost too much dirt. Yeah, yeah, I think we've lost too much dirt here. We've kind of knocked it all out of the way. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. I don't know what to expect. Dude, the whole back end just fell apart. It's held together by rust. But yeah, there's too much dirt gone now, and now you're just nailing the tires. It's like, so. I'm going to die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can, every time you hit it, like more stuff was just falling <laughs> off. That was that was amazing. Aww, oh. That's too bad. Yeah. Um, well, whatever. You know, it's all about R and D down at the Fre Freeman compound. So what I'm gonna do is take these tires out, definitely lift them up to ground level, and just put a ton more dirt. Because I don't know if you guys remember the old teeter totter. If you're new to the channel, I'll uh, I'll put the link below. But it, I think it was a Chevy Blazer teeter totter, and the thing was like straight up and down so that was a good video <laughs> it was hilarious all right let's get out of here let's head to the scrapyard i'll take that malibu back and then i gotta pick up my parachute round two at the scrapyard what we got 10 8 i was hoping to get this escape but apparently the training is done got all the lug nuts loosened off zan stopped by gave me some freshy gloves just taking the battery out. Apparently it went for a little ride. Just kind of floating around. And we'll get rid of this thing. There's the old PT. Get rid of it. Time for this thing to go. These guys just dropped off an old Dodge. An old dirty Dodger. Anyone want a Dodge? Project truck. It's got no wheels. It's probably aft. getting big. Stack attack. Man, I gotta pee. It is beautiful out today. Have a Dodge. Later project truck. No one wanted you anyway because you're a Dodge. <laughs> Beauty. Alright, let's get rid of that. Malibu. The Impalibu. That's it. We'll, we'll go with that one. Later in Palibu, thanks for the three tires. You can have the fourth. We're in the pile with the rest of them. <laughs> that stack is getting high. You can do the little crown on top today. All right, let's head back. Uh, drop the trailer off. Oh, we got some glass. Go grab the parachute. And skydiving. If anyone's in the area, they want to go skydiving, this is the place to go. A couple planes, I got the runway right here. I land over here. There's the plane up there just climbing right now. A couple people about to jump. There's Bob. Waiting for him to land. <laughs> He's got my parachute inside. I just got to pick it up. Oh. Where is the other guy? Huh? Smooth landing. And another guy up there. Somewhere else. All right, we got the rig back. She's all black with a touch of yellow. Should be good to go. And right, get out of here for the day. Thank you guys for watching. As always, make sure you check out the links, subscribe, leave some nice comments, and fantastic day if you have any suggestions for videos throw them in the comments below all right we'll see you later